Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am in Deus Ex Human Revolution once a I can't believe I did that. Human Revolution? No, we are in Deus Ex Mankind Divided today doing my let's play playthrough gameplay of this game. Yeah, I made a mistake there. I would for some reason, Human Revolution was on the mind, which I did play previous to this game, which was also very fun, but this is Mankind Divided. In the last video, we got through the Garm Station, learned a bunch of info, particularly about Marshenko, who I think is going to end up being our bad guy. Like, our final boss, perhaps, maybe. But here's the deal. I have a kill switch on him. I found a secret compartment in a locker that had his kill switch. Let's see, that should be in my inventory. And what does it look like? It's one of these, isn't it? So I got two of these. One of these is Marchenko's kill switch and the other is a signal jammer that will stop the bombs from detonating. Which I assume we're gonna have to take care of. Take care of the bombs and then Marchenko. Something like that. And I probably have some stuff here I could sell or get rid of. I do have quite a bit of stuff in my inventory I just noticed. I also have a Praxis. What shall I spend this Praxis on? I mean, there's so many things I would love to, honestly, but... What does this do? Increases my maximum hit points? Yeah, might as well. Alright, and we are back in Prague after that last mission, and it's raining. Things have gotten worse. Martial law has taken place in Prague. That means we have to be careful when we exit this place because the police will probably kill us on sight or arrest us, something like that. So we probably have to sneak our way through, which will be interesting. Also, as of right now, I don't know how much longer we have in the game. I don't know how much gameplay is ahead of me. I don't know where the end of the game is. Uh, according to the launcher, I'm at 114 hours of gameplay right now. I don't know, though, how much longer we have. And I've been through this area. I have thoroughly uh, looted this area in the past, so I don't need to worry about that right now. So what's our mission here? Our mission is to meet Vega in the limb clinic. That's right, she contacted us last time. Marchenko tried to kill me in Garm by using the orchid. I got away alive and with a sample. The collective might be able to find out more about it if I bring it to Alex in the abandoned limb clinic. And then we need to meet Miller in the office. But I assume I can't just go out the front door, right? I'll be, like, arrested immediately. Oh, we're gonna find out, because that's what I'm trying. Yeah, they're just outright killing people here. Alright, looks like we made it to the limb clinic.
Where the hell you been, man? You went dark after skipping out on Janus and the bank. Chasing down Victor Marchenko. Found him holed up in the Swiss Alps with the mercs from Dubai. They tried to kill me with this. I love the what water droplets on Adam Jensen right now. Looks Marchenko used it to kill Rutgers. Be careful. Think you can get it out. Looks really good on yeah, the uh, got a couple of scientists on the collective. On him there. Good. Something big is coming, Alex. Ark's being framed for a terrorist attack that hasn't occurred yet. They're gonna take more lives, blow up another train station? Jesus, Adam, look at it out there. Any chance we had of easing fears and fighting people's hatred will be gone. That piece of shit UN legislation will pass and we'll all be thrown into og-only hellholes like Udalek. On Nathaniel Brown sits back and earns trillions. Brown? That slick suit from the Santo Corporation? Page said Brown was calling the shots. And in Switzerland, Marchenko said Brown had confirmed date and time. But where? Brown's been traveling extensively, promoting Rabia and his Safe Harbor initiative. His next junket's in London. But if he's behind this, he's not gonna attack himself. Maybe not. Marchenko also mentioned someone who can tell us. But I have to meet with Miller first. How soon can you get the sample analyzed? As fast as possible. If you're meeting with Miller, be careful. You walked into another ambush in Garm, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. I don't think Miller's really behind it. I think he's just being used, or people are using him. But I don't think he's a bad guy. Now, we really need to be careful as we go around this area, because I guess we don't want to be caught by the cops, do we? Yeah, look, the whole... Oh, the whole map is red. That means it is all a restricted zone right now. And there's guys right out here. Alright, well let's first track my mission. I need to meet Miller. I need to have a little chat with Miller about Garm and what happened to me there. He's waiting in his office, but there's a lot of barricades between me and him. Won't this be fun? Alright, so I have option here. I can, like kill people, which I'm not doing in this playthrough, or I can stun them, which I will do, or cue them and take them out that way, or try to bypass them with my invisibility. So between those methods, I will find a way. <laughs> All of those methods, I assume. I can't activate this in here, can I? Okay, that disabled an alarm, but it didn't get this guy out of the way, so... Oh, uh, hold on. Sasmi.SOS? Uh, a new thing popped up. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. I want to read this, but... I'll be detected. Cloak doesn't last very long. Alright, hold on. I got a side mission. No, I got a point of interest. Somnizat SOS. I received a strange beeping message from the alternate media group Somnizat. The message included uploaded coordinates to an underground location in the Prakazka district. Well, let's do that. Also, remember, we still have an Eliza thing going on. Remember that? It happened a while ago. She was like, her AI was like, her old AI was like trying to reassert itself. So there's that going on too. But I want to take a look at this Somnizat SOS thing. Let's see what this is about. Um, so this Prakazga district, where might it be? Yeah, the whole place is red. I mean, I can't go anywhere without them trying to take me out or down. Oh, I literally need to go all the way back to where my apartment is. Uh, I need to get on the train. I'm going to have to travel the train. Okay. Well, let's let my energy come back up. And we're going to attempt to not take these people out. Or if I don't have to, we're going to cloak. Cloak is about to run out. Cloak is about to run out. 
Okay, I made it this far. Let's let my energy levels come back up. And we'll go to the train. Oh, they got a darn laser grid, but I'm, I'm cloaked. Yeah, it doesn't see you when cloaked. Ah, oh, shoot! Cloak ran out. And I got a laser turret. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Now, this place is locked up so tight. Oh, there's no train. I have to run, I have to run the tracks. <laughs> that's hilarious. Because there's no train, trains because of the lockdown, I have to walk the track. I like that. That's a great little detail they added there. Alright, uh, the, the same is going to be true here. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cloak to get out of here. They got turrets and everything set up. Okay. Laser grids. Man, I wish that cloak lasted longer. There's no way to slow the drain on it, is it? I think I have the maximum cloaking ability. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. I could maybe increase... I don't know. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do. Wish there was like a battery or something I could pop that would like slow... Slow it down slightly, but there's really not. Also, I'm, I guess I'm not going to be able to buy, sell, or trade anything, so let's just drop this stuff. Alright, here we go. Cloak. What was that? Cloak is about to run out. I'm seen. I'm seen. Not good, not good. I'm going to wait for the search completion to go down. That cloak does not last long enough. Alright, I need to get around there. This is going to be difficult. I love the rain effects, by the way. Graphics are really good.
All right, we didn't kill anybody and we made it down. All right, we're okay, we're okay. We made it down in here. Nobody is dead, everybody's alive. Let's find out where, where we're going here. Really? I can't jump that. Well, that's not where I need to go. Yeah, it, uh, with everybody out to get me out there, it's, it's pretty tough to get around in the city, in the area here. That cloak just does not last long enough. That's a small hole. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's see what's going on here with these people. I remember them. Hold on just one second, guys. I need to turn my fan on. It's hot in here. Alright, sorry about that. I had to turn my fan on. Getting a little warm in here. Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Well, we'll forgive her. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Sammy's dad's usual channels are all bugged. I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long-form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here? The police raided Samistat last night, cleared us out. Uh-huh. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, you went a little wider than we anticipated. Okay, well... This isn't what I'd call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again and finish what they started? This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again and finish what they started? They already got the cave. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you in the happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either we could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan and really do something. Yeah, when we first met, I called you pamphleteers. I guess I should apologize. Oh no, we were pamphleteers. Now we're pamphleteers, jury rigging an underground railroad. All right, what happened to Kay? What happened to Kay? Kay is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know, but I mean, what physically happened to her? 
Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. No contact, no bail, no are we rights. Are we going to have to break him out? He must have known the risks. No, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. Okay, uh, so you're running the resistance cell here. So are you running a resistance cell here or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance then. Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's okay. a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's going to take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh. But you knew that already. All right, continue. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made the plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first... Wow, we okay. Need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Well, Are actually... You me you're not? I actually am. Of course I'm going to accept the mission. I, I want to do it, so yeah. Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes, by the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the Ineta Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. Well, of course. Too All right. People. We'll have to and have to break them out. And where is this going to be done? It's, looks like it might be in another whole district. Four more trucks. Can we get back into the city trash depot tonight? I recognize so many. Maybe we should consider Something freight more trains more difficult to hide. You don't know. I am just talking with little K here. You don't know where I those trains have been. Uh, oh. Anna, you didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. Oh, the forger, that's right. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Dragomir, I had like 20 emails from Sam's dad. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? If it works, I'd say lucky. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. Oh, don't mention it, Milena. If there was an easier option, you think we wouldn't take it? I was less stressed out when I was working at gunpoint. We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. Oh, that was a, that was a little smile there from Jensen. That was interesting. Yeah, so um, I like that we got a bit of a follow-up with her. See, saw what happened to her after we helped her out. But imagine if we had not have helped her, or if she died, or was, you know, wasn't here. Maybe this mission or story would have played out a little differently. So that's real interesting how, like, things you can do earlier in the game do do affect what uh, what the uh, later outcome for other missions are directly affects it. Okay, well, we're going to head out and do this mission, of course. Uh, it is, I think it's tracking it right now. Travel to Sistus Divert. K and Bones are being held in a makeshift police station. We need to get them out. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. It's going to be kind of tough, though, because... 
Um, obviously, we have the police out to get us. At first sight, they will shoot to kill. So it's going to be tough. Because the cloak does not last a very long time. Now, since I'm at my apartment complex here, uh, let me go ahead and just go upstairs and see if there's any messages for me. This might be my last chance to uh, check out my apartment. Maybe. And maybe I can do some buy, sell, and trading here, actually. We're home. I didn't leave my TV on. I guess we're going to have a whiskey before we get into all this. <laughs> Interesting, there's a cutscene cut scene for it. Oh, this is that Janus stuff. Alright, um, let's make a quick save and let's check our TV for anything. Watch TV or leave. We have nothing else we can do. Do we still have... We don't have that thing where it was like... Confront Seraph in my apartment? That's still here. That's never gone away. But I don't have an option to do anything right now, so I guess it's still going to be like a later thing. There's no contact Seraph here. I just find that interesting. I thought maybe it would have resolved by now. Any mail? And there's really no new mail. Okay, I mean, there's nothing here for me to do, so. Well, it is what it is. One of these places had somebody I could sell things to. Is, eh? Bio cell, hypo stim, painkillers. All of it. Interested. Mm. I sell these things. Yeah, I got that. Buy something. Yeah, let us shop. Okay, well, let's sell that. I don't need. Oh, I do need Tesla cartridge for that new. That new thing I can do. I don't need battle rifle. Sniper rifle. Do want that. Do want that. I don't think I can put a hollow sight on anything, but I'll check. Smoke, EMP. I probably won't use smoke grenades. I would use concussion if I use anything. Keep all that. I got a laser targeting and a scope. I'm going to see if I can add those to anything. I'm not going to keep the frag grenades because that kills. Keep the neuropazine. All right. I've got a le another laser targeting system scope. I really don't need it. 
I can craft biocells. What I'd rather have is this Praxis kit. And maybe just honestly, um, I can afford a Tesla cartridge. So I might use that new device I have. But honestly, crafting parts is better because I can just craft stuff on the go. Alright, that's good. I'm good for now. Fuck off then. Next time, maybe not fuck off. <laughs> Make up your mind. Alright, let's see what we can do here with you. Can we use you on anything? No. Because I already have a hollow sight on everything I can have a hollow sight on. Scope. Can I scope? Nope. Don't need that. Laser sight. Okay, I have everything on everything, so... What do you know? I can't do anything with those. I'm gonna sell How these then. Want to spend this time, eh? I'm actually gonna sell here. So yeah, I'm gonna sell these things. Can't use them. Stozachonya. <laughs> I have everything I need. Then get lost. You waste my time. Alright, now we can head out. Now, this is gonna be fun. Let's see where I'm trying to get to. There are some places that are not in the red. Like Kohler's place. I can go into some of these places. Anyway, um, nope. I need to get back to this other district. Because that's where they're being held in that police station. So I need to go to this train station. This is just going to be a case of cloak and go. My cloak is about to run out. My cloak is about to run out. I got a reset. <laughs> and we walk the lonely walk. Yeah, it's real interesting trying to sneak around this place when everything's restricted. Here we go again. All right, let's see. Where am I headed? Find out when we get out of here. Okay. Okay, got that going on, but no problem. Oh, it's just right across here I need to go, huh? Ah, that's right, I got a Praxis. 
Um, infiltrate the makeshift station. Let's go ahead and use that praxis. I'm trying to maximize this stuff. So let's keep doing that. There we go. I got a max meter now. Yeah. I want to take these guys out. No, I don't want to take them out. I rethought that because it would just cause... It would just cause the alarms to go off and everybody would be trying to attack me. So instead, I won't do that. There we go. I can sneak in here like that. Nice. Here we go. Downstairs. We got a guard. Locking us up so you can play back the work though, huh? What do you think this is? The nineteen eighties? Like those old documentaries? Well, where's the guard? No, oh, it wasn't it It was it wasn't a guard. Never mind. Alright, I gotta figure out how to unlock this door. Alright, how do I unlock the door? Aha. Did that do it? Let me check the uh, lockers first. There's extra stuff here. I just got something I really don't need. Grenade launcher. Tesla cartridge, nice. I have a lot of that um, stunning ability now. I remember you. our old military industrial. You, I knew it, man. I knew you were one of them all along. Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled a freedom of information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha. They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little K asked me to get you out. She's the K now, man. I'm a liability to Sammy's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. Uh, you told me you were a liability. How do you figure that? You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. 
my high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark neck proxies, Oral Cemetery. Oral Cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little K shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's death has to be bigger than any man or woman. Sammy's death is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. Hmm, I might have known you wouldn't keep your head down during the riots. I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man. Lives and dies for. But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the Gollum riots. How are the Ogs gonna get over here? Carpool? No, someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Pride. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. That's your prediction, huh? You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. Uh, Picus. I warned you about picking a fight with Picus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Picus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass? And ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Samizdat resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? Oh, okay, well. Looks like we've got a couple of options. I can tell him to play it cool. There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. We can do it guns blazing. There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with weapons and armor. I suggest you grab something you know how to use and use it. Or wait here. It's bad out there right now. Keep your heads down and don't leave here until I tell you to. I'll be back. So basically me clearing a path for them. Wow, I have an option here. Now this is interesting and I like options like this because I always wonder if I do it one way, what would a different way be like? But of course I only have a chance right now to do it one way. I kind of like the idea of playing it cool or waiting here. One of these options. Because obviously I'm not doing the guns blazing kill everybody right now scenario. But that would be a fun option to try in the future. For this one though, um... I could try to clear a path, which means just stunning everybody. Or we could try to sneak past everybody by playing it cool, but wouldn't they recognize me as an AUG? I don't know which method to go with here. I don't know which is the most interesting or what leads to the most fun. I really don't know. I kind of like the idea of stunning all the cops and clearing a path for them, but that would cause a lot of attention. Maybe let's play it cool this time? I Let's try it. I mean, heck, I don't know. I'd like to try all three, but can only do one. Let me know in the comments what you tried when you played this. I'd There's be interested. There's a locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. I do wonder what everyone else uh, in the comments picked playing this. Good. See, they. It's time to go. They look convincing, but I don't. Find a way to open the cell. Meet somebody's out in the rendezvous. Optional. Meet Edward at the rendezvous? I have an optional. See, I'm not in a cop suit, so they'll. Hold on, hold on, guys. Meet Samadizat on the red. I'm supposed to meet the freed members of Samadizat at the rendezvous. The un Unita cleaning supply store just down the street. All we have to do is get there alive. 
Once we make it to safety, I should follow up with Kay to ensure he has everything he needs. Optional. There was no way I could leave poor Edward Broad locked up in that jail cell by himself. When orchestrating an escape from a police state gone wrong, you take everybody. Optional. Meet Edward at the rendezvous. Yes. Let's meet this Edward. You want the byline? Write something. Incredulity is the do I just let them go, or do I follow them? I feel like I'm 20. You planning to shoot an old man? I have to sneak. Alright, so they're safe, but I have to sneak. I hope this works, man. Hope I didn't make the wrong decision here. All right, let me try to figure out where I'm headed, though. It still says go to the police station. Huh. I wonder why my thing is still lit up at the police station. So we know it's this cleaner's place. Where is the cleaner's place? I'm trying to find it. Ah, oh, there it is. looking for a bio cell get my energy up and uh, that's a signal jammer I got too much stuff here again Boy, I hope everybody came along. Wonder why this is still flashing there, though. Okay. Cloak. Almost had a problem there. I thought you were going to help me. 
Man, that was almost a problem. Martial law, curfews, people being jailed for no reason. It reminds me of Warsaw 1982. Warsaw didn't have drones. <laughs> now what? Do you think we are safe here? You are for now, but you can't risk going back outside. There's a group organizing underground. They're doing everything they can to create That was a almost a major mess up there on my end. These men, they are part of this group? That's right. I know how much it meant to you to stay in Prague, Edward, but things aren't going to get any better. If there was ever a time to leave, this is it. If you wait here, case people will come for you. They'll do everything they can to help. I think I have no choice now. I will wait here. I will cooperate. Thank you for everything you've done. I don't remember who Edward is. Good Sorry. Luck, Edward. I really don't remember who Edward is. But I did I did succeed. plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well, whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't mess. Right. With the cardboard box company. Huh, yes. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay? Kay is Casby, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. All right, achievement unlocked. K is for Codsty. All right, well, that was almost a bust on my end. I kind of did that the most chaotic way possible but it's done and cleared To the right. Need to go around to the left. Where'd all the cops go all of a sudden? Oh, there's this guy. There's still this guy here. Look at that. Welcome, welcome. Nice gear you've got here. All high end. And you look like you know high end. Which biotech did your job? Not isolate. They don't come in black. 
I've talked you to you. To all your customer. I've talked to you a lot. Come on, we don't need to go through all this. Sure. Great. This is fantastic. The cause is very, very grateful. Take this. A gift for a true freedom fighter. All right, I want to sell. I need to keep that. We'll sell that. Reveal software signal jammers. A devastator shotgun? I don't need it. Not using shotguns. All right, I think we're good. No, don't need that. Trank and trank rifle we don't need. Now we're good. Seen it all before, haven't you? Some other time. Don't wait for planned obsolescence. Gotta be careful. I don't see the cops though. Where'd all the cops go? Right there. That's where they went. That was close. Adam, it's David. We need to talk uh, in private. Now he, private than my info link. Now he so wants sure. to talk. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment. Get. Now he wants to talk at my apartment. Oh my gosh. I was just there, Seraph. Well, let's go talk to Miller first. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get- Ouch, non-essential. I just met- Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is, watching Pika's news, hearing that the mods were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. Let's inquire about it. You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam, I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know? But not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Um... Let's see, we can dismiss it. Or we can say, which I don't really want to do, sympathize. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound insensitive, but you made it through that. And I think you're stronger for it or empathize. Believe me, I know how you feel, but you know what I think. I think we're stronger than that day. I think the scars will carry. We, we carry are like armor now. Hmm. Sympathize, I guess. I didn't know. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to sound insensitive. But you made it through that, Delara. And I think you're stronger for it. Thanks, Adam. Guess I just... You just think you're over something, you know? And then... I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. I mean, this is probably a safe place to be, right? I just want to see if this guy about had anything else about the bombs to tell me. Smiley, hanging in there? Me? Hmm. What about you? After your little recon mission, you come back to guns in the street. It's pretty bad out there. Any trouble getting around? Oh, nothing I couldn't handle. Well, at least you're positive. Wish I was right now. I've been combing through Dr. Talis Rucker's autopsy report, and apparently the medical examiner found nothing. Can you believe that? Nothing. No poison, no bacteria or toxin of any kind was found in his system. Officially, the cause of death was inconclusive. Inconclusive? I watched him die, and I know for a fact Marchenko did it. They must have found something. That's just what I thought, so I got my hands on an earlier draft of the report. And while they were unsure of the cause, at least they knew the effect. An unidentified foreign agent started attacking protein strands, bending them out of shape. And the body's immune system took it from there. Exactly. First swelling in the cell walls, then more kinking and bending in neighboring cells. The effect propagated throughout the body, made its way to the brain, where it was game over. Do not pass go, do not collect 200 credits. And that speculation, as they called it, is not in the final coroner's report. As far as they're concerned, the case is closed. Mm -hmm. not for you, right? There's an unknown substance that kills people in minutes. I want to know what it is. And I'm going to find out. They've already blocked my request once, but I spoke to Miller and he told me Manderley would make a few calls and get things moving. I need to speak to Manderley, to too. It. Don't worry about that. It'll take more than being stonewalled by state police to stop me. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. Thanks, Marley. Talk to you later. All right, so we got a mystery here that we're going to be waiting to hear from. I do want to talk to Manderley also. Both passes. It's not. Oh, Agent Jensen. Sorry, one moment. Excuse me. Look, if both passes, it's not like Ogs are going to be. We're just going to kind of go around and speak to everybody. Make sure that nobody has anything new for me. Chang was asking if I noticed anyone suspicious hanging around, or if I felt like I was being followed. Oh yeah, this place. There's nobody down here, was there? I think I already spoke to whoever was down here. Oh, Allison. There you Allison, how are you doing? You went after Victor. What happened? All I can say is I haven't caught up with him yet. How about you? They treating you alright? Well enough. The interrogation was simple. I told them everything I know about Victor, which is not much. You did that willingly. The interrogator was respectful. She reminded me of my commander in EOD, who was not augmented, but she treated us well. After the incident, she stood up for us. You sound better. Like you found some peace. My isolation has given me time to meditate and reflect. I did not always feel so tormented, so angry, so alone. It is good to remember. You have given me more than I can ever repay. You came okay. to visit me. Tomorrow I am being transferred to a special prison. Okay. So it looks like we got everything. But I still expect the conditions that everything out of her. It's nice to follow up on these people. Have some follow up, you know. Tell me about it. 
<clears throat> I've been trying to ID the bodies of the people who crashed the operation in Dubai. The NSN is down again. I contacted the manufacturer. They just told us to reboot. Jim is furious. This is moving way too fucking fast. I say the next attack is going to be in London. All right, let's go upstairs. Some more people to talk to. Not safe out there. Not I remember safe anywhere. Th I remember this guy. You know, I was starting to think you got rounded up. My God, martial law. I, I heard it's pretty bad out there. Bad enough. Don't go out if you don't have to. Yeah, well, it's getting bad in here too. I've been going a little nuts. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure who I can trust anymore. What are you talking about, Chang? You know I've been looking into Janus, right? Well, turns out Janus knows things about this place about us things they could only know if it, information that could only come from inside you think janus has a mole inside the task force what makes you say that what exactly have you found i can't tell you that jensen i'm in charge of cybersecurity here you really didn't think i wouldn't notice what's been going on you've been poking into people's computers you've been doing other things yes i have um, do we have a problem or a coax? You're obviously a smart guy, Chang. Question is, whose side is you are you on? You're obviously a smart guy, Chang. Question is, whose side are you on? Oh, I don't take sides. Chang looks out for Chang. I'm not sure that's good enough. It's good enough for me. And it's a whole lot better than picking the wrong side, Jensen. Look, I'm not accusing you of anything yet. All I'm saying is, I'm a paranoid guy, okay? Right now, more than ever. If someone I work with is... I just need to know these walls are safe. Nowhere is safe. My job, my reason for being here, for doing whatever it is you think I'm doing, is to change that. Are you saying I should keep this to myself for now? I'm saying you should do what you think is right. Use the resources you have here to go after the people who deserve it. People who manipulate others, who do everything they can to hurt others. You really think that's me? No, I don't, Jensen. I just... Just be careful, all right? Make sure you know what you're doing. I'm always careful, Jane. Yeah, so there might be a mole here. Be careful, Jensen. And I have been looking into yeah, people's computers. Huh. Let's talk to Vincent. Who is not here. Jensen, hi. Be with you in a sec. Fuck Jensen, you know that shit and goblin boy was with frogs. We're gonna have a bad of a heavenly guard. Oh, this is, uh, my, this is my area right here anyway. I do have some unread mails. Given a recent string of questionable network activity as well as general climate of fear and suspicion, I'd like us to move ahead with new network security protocols. Deployment of an automated network refresh system that changes all passwords every six days. And, uh, mm, I guess that's the first stage. This is to dispel any rumors. Station Muscat confirms based on three communications date that Aaron Singh has successfully reintegrated himself into the gen. Oh, he's the guy I wanted to talk to, but he, not here. Okay. I was going to talk to him, but he's, um... McCready, yeah, he, this guy is not here now. Well, I guess all we have is Miller left to talk to. I understand that, but I have. I interrupted his phone call. You made it. Hell of a time for a lockdown. More like convenient. Given everything that's happened in this investigation so far, what I like—I like how his safe is just open behind him. I like how his safe is just open behind him. I knew I was coming, and the gold mask from Dubai. 
Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? I'm not accusing anyone, yet. But two ambushes in less than a month? I want to know what's really going on. So do I. MacReady dug into Gaum. Started out as a geological research center, funded by the European Union until 2025, when it was purchased by a nameless shell company. You put Chang on it? That kid scares me. Tracked it back to Bell Tower Associates in under an hour. I take it no one purchased it when Bell Tower went bankrupt last year. Wasn't even listed on the asset sheet. So like I said, you stumbled into something big. Care to focus on figuring out what it is? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Right after you contacted me, I got on the horn with Leon. Had them send in a strike team from France. It got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Tsar Divi Adlam Ooh. Street. Diwali? All right, we're still really messing with them. We have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Copy that. Okay, we got some Diwali. So I got a code too. Find a way you into Diwali. We are trying to stop terrorists here. All right, we've got a whole Diwali thing to do now, and everything's restricted out there, so that's going to be tough. I'm going to have to sneak into that area. That's going to be pretty tough. Um, so we got a couple of things to do here. We have a side mission to use my home TV to contact Seraph. And our main mission is to get into the Diwali territory, territory again. Well, that sounds like fun. And we're going to do it all in the next video. I'm going to call that for today's video. We did a lot. We made a lot of progress. We got this Samadizat found mission. And I uh, did that and concluded that and also made contact with a whole lot of other people, kind of finalizing things. And uh, now we can finally contact Seraph uh, and see what that's going to be all about. And then I guess after that we'll head into the Diwali territory and we'll do all that in the next video. Yeah, so thank you all for watching. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. Thank you and stay tuned for the next one.